Hey everyone, it's Liam here from Hexium. In this video, we're going to be looking at our brand new free neon webcam overlay pack. This pack includes a variety of preset frames to choose from, and they're available in 16, 9 and 4, 3 dimensions. The best part, these webcam frames are animated. We've even got two different animation options to choose from. So I'm now going to show you how to get this free pack, how to add them to your stream, and then finally show you how to customize the colors. Start off by clicking on the link in the video description to get to the Webcam Packs product page. From here, select Add to Cart and follow the checkout process. At the end of the checkout process, you'll be given a link to download your overlays. Click on the download button to begin downloading your files. Once downloaded, extract the zip file and open up the contents. You'll see two main folders and an installation tutorial from our website. If you're using a webcam with a 16-9 ratio, then open up the corresponding folder. Otherwise, open up the 4-3 folder. You'll now see three more folders. The constant folder contains all the animated webcam variants with a constant neon animation. This animation moves the neon slowly around the webcam frame. On the other hand, the pulse folder contains all the animated webcam variants with a pulsing neon animation. The static folder just contains all the non-animated webcam frames. Now it's time to add the webcam overlay to your stream. Start off by launching OBS. From here, you need to add a new media source. If you're planning to use the non-animated webcam frames, then use an image source instead. We're going with a media source for this tutorial. Give your media source an appropriate name and hit OK. With the media source added, select the browse button, locate your chosen border and open it. To make sure that the animation keeps playing indefinitely, toggle the loop button to on. Hit OK to finish adding the webcam frame to your stream. Click and drag the source to resize and move it around the scene. All that's left is to add a video capture source to your scene and place it behind the webcam frame. Add a new source and select the video capture device from the list of sources. Make sure the reposition and resize the video capture source so that it fits within the frame. Then in the sources section, drag the capture device source below the webcam. This is to make sure the webcam frame renders on top of your capture device. To make things easier, you can now group the webcam overlay and capture device. Select them both, right click and select group. Give the group a name and hit enter. Now, with that group selected, you'll be able to move and resize both the video capture device and webcam frame without losing their relative positioning. All right, now time for some OBS magic. Changing the color of these webcam overlays is really straightforward, thanks to the color correction filter in OBS. To get started with this, right click the webcam source and select filters. Under the effect filters, add a new filter called color correction. The first setting to adjust is the hue shift slider. This will change the main colors used for the webcam. If you're still not getting the exact color you want, try adjusting the saturation slider. As a last resort, you can use the color multiply setting. This will make a certain color more prominent. Keep in mind this only works if you've already got the hue shift setting adjusted as close to your target color as possible. That just about covers everything for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll be recommended more freebies and helpful streaming tutorials in the future.